Tomo News, happy holiday list of 2014's top legal threats. Dear viewer, today, something a little different. Because the bleatings of pathetic crybabies will never deter us from animating the truth, we present to you the top three legal threats we received in 2014. First, back in June we made a polite animation about the Zero-G Corporation, a company which offers passengers a simulated zero-gravity experience on its modified jets. It was a cool animation and free press for them. But their belligerent PR lady didn't like our use of their logo and threatened us with this cease and desist letter. We at Tomo News don't like bullies, so calmly replied that we'd modify the piece and then made this animation. Then came Cameltoe Molarkin, the hag mayor of an English town who we criticised in this animation after she tried to use the police to punish the maker of a different animation which made fun of her... Cameltoe. Soon after, we got this email and a boring legal threat from her fancy lawyer demanding we pull the animation or else. We reminded her that being a small-time politician doesn't give her the right to bully her critics and that we'd include her threat in a future story. Finally, we reported on the University of Wisconsin Tau Kappa Epsilon fraternity, which made national headlines after it was investigated for methodically spiking girls' drinks with date rape drugs at their parties. TKE threatened to sue us for trademark infringement as we used their logo in the piece. They should have hired a real lawyer. This was our response. A person viewing Tomo News would not reasonably confuse our news with a fraternity that systematically roofies female visitors to its houses. Therefore, there is no trademark infringement. So, dear viewer, over to you. Vote for your favorite legal thread in the comments. Extra action. Extra insanity. Extra perversion. Extra mayhem. Tomanews.net.